Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And in case you missed the news, Damien Willemser injured and potentially out of the majority of the Springbok season, um, which is a massive blow. Arguably, you know, for me, one of the biggest possible blows to the Springbok side with regards to just how incredibly well uh, he is currently playing. And um, that also begs the question, especially with um, the potential um, game, well, the, the game against... Um, where else taking place outside of the, the test window and potential rotated side, who will be one of the options or the option for the box at 15? Now, before we get into exactly uh, what's happened to Damien Willemse and what this might mean for the screen box, uh, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the Well, right, so over the weekend, uh, Damien Willemse as well as uh, Sasha Fembe and Gomez Zulu were both forced off the field, apparently both suffering uh, finger injuries. Um, whilst Sasha Fame and Gomez Zulu's injury is uh, expected to be a lot um, less serious and expected to be back relatively soon, it looks like Damien Willemsen is rather serious and uh, looks like he uh, has injured ligaments and will require surgery. Um, as a result, it's looked like he will be out for about four months and uh, therefore will basically be out for the entire Island series um, and as well as the Portugal game as well as the entire rugby championship. Um, which means not only wear a Springbok jersey once again at the end of year tour. Um, it's a huge blow for both the Stormers as well as as uh, the Springboks. The Stormers moving into URC playoffs in a few weeks' time, and uh, he is probably he is their best player. Uh, as I said, I think I think he I genuinely think he is World Player of the Year type of quality, um, and I think the way he was playing last year, absolutely. Um, so, question now is who takes his place now? The uh, current, uh, you know, um, option, obvious option, would be obviously Billy Leroux, um, given the fact that, first of all, he's been very good for the Bulls, and obviously he's still been around that uh, box side. He's also stepping games away from playing 100 tests for uh, the Springboks, uh, a very underrated uh, Springbok, and he will retire as Springbok legend, you know, double World Cup winner, Centurion, for example, has some, some of the most assists ever in a Springbok jersey. Uh, he is known as the assist king, and he's been in great form for the Bulls as well. The problem is, for example, for the Wales game, is that uh, the Bulls could very well be involved in the URC final on that same day, if not involved in the semi-final the week before. So uh, it does make picking Villarreal quite difficult. Um, same as the likes of Kurt Lawrence and uh, even a Kenny Moody, if you want to go that that way. So the question is, who are the options uh, aside from Villarreal or fullback for the box uh, while staying in Williams? Now, uh, in terms of the players we know have been involved in the squads, um, you know, the likes of a Kurt Lawrence, Ches and Colby, Spring to mind, as well as uh, Quinn Horn, who was uncapped but having an absolutely sensational season for the Lions and apparently very highly rated um, by the Springboks. So, um, I think, for example, I think that if the Lions don't progress particularly far in the URC, um, for example, if they miss the playoffs, I do think there's a very good chance that we'll start start at fullback for that Wales test. And, and I think it's a great decision. I think he is a player that is only getting better. Um, very young player, 22 years old. He turns 23 uh, in June, so it's still be 22. He makes his debut against Wales. Um, but keep us going and leaps and bounds. He actually won the Ironman Award. I think it was last season for playing the most minutes in the URC. So incredibly good fitness record. Um, Force tries for fun. Um, very tenacious on defense. You know, something that he probably needs to work on a little bit um, you know, in terms of one of the few things that uh, he can get better at. But with regards to his attacking nature, he's game's really good. Left boot as well. As a nice option, he takes the kickoffs, for example, for the Lions, and he's been absolutely sensational. So he's obviously a very uh, obvious candidate. Uh, after the fact, he's been in very good form, but has not been involved in the alignment camps, and therefore you think, well, maybe he is an option. And then the option they were talking about, but we're not quite sure whether it's even a possibility, is a Hardikun star, Tyre Green, who personally think is going to be named in the premiership of the season, uh, such as being formed for the Hardikun. Uh, helping them get over their first ever, you know, Champions Cup playoff. Um, man the match in the Champions Cup quarterfinal, which they lost to Bordeaux by just one point. He was absolutely brilliant. Um, and also, I think very importantly, is that he's currently sort of weighing up his uh, his international options. 26 years old. Um, and, uh, you know, w wants to play international rugby. And I think he's quite clear that if the Springboks don't rate him and if they don't pick him, he will look at playing and qualifying for England. Does do uh, national, um, so it's an interesting option. I would love, love, love to see the box go and look at him as an option. I think that he's a very hardworking player. 
very quick, um, you know, flies to tackles. Uh, does need to work on his defense as well, maybe a little bit. But again, I think, you know, working with the box will help him a lot for that regard. But um, nice kicking game. One of the best kind of attacking fullbacks. Probably in World Rugby at the moment with, with the form he's currently in. Really, genuinely, he has been that good this season. Um, and um, a real possibility. So lots of options, you know. Uh, you know, once the URC's finished, you know, you've got your likes of a Kurt Lawrence who can become a genuine option. Chesen Colby could be available for Wales, could play there as well. Uh, my Ebox played there at, at club level. Borja Lang's not part of the alignment camp, but has been part of a Springbok squad. So lots of options. What would your pick be? Let me know down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. Thank <laughs> you.